Here in coastal Louisiana, we're at the bottom of one of the largest rivers in the world. And how we use and manage and live with and engage and embrace this river and its related systems, I think, is key to our existence and our resilience in the future. With coastal Louisiana, we're one of the most vulnerable delta systems worldwide. Uh, we rank with um, the Bangladesh coast and with the Mekong Delta. You know, we're, we're sitting on land that's only 7,000 years old that was built from a series of deltaic episodes from the Mississippi River. So the irony is that the, the abundance of the sediment and fresh water that built this system, which is now constrained and in going into the Gulf of Mexico, that, ab that abundance is no longer there with our current system of how we're managing the river. The creation aspect of the river is, is not happening as much. We're having the loss aspect when a, when a delta goes in another direction, but not the creation aspect as much as we could. So the Mississippi River is one of the key centerpieces of our tools for restoring the coast. The most challenging aspect moving forward is, is how coastal residents will have to adapt to what would be very large-scale coastal restoration. The problem is uh, we, we can't necessarily, we can't hold on to everything that we have right now in certain areas of the coast will have to be sacrificed. Uh, we need to build on higher lands, which will mean relocations of certain residents in the coming half century. It's an inevitability here in Louisiana. That's the bad news. The good news is because of these challenges, we have an opportunity to implement large scale coastal restoration on a scale that's never been attempted in the world. And everything we do that succeeds, that'll be a positive model. And everything that we do that fails, it'll be a model again for what to not do in terms of sustainability on coastal systems. Thank you.